you know, typically you said you batted you bat 200 or less, right? 200 or less for sure. And um, where do they play at? How far, how deep do they play at? Not much more, probably less than halfway between infield and outfield. Rick is a 72-year-old in good shape, plays in a couple leagues, and he told me that he only batted 200 or less in the leagues. And he has the two, two-fold problem. Watch the hip rotation. It's almost non-existent. No weight transfer, no drive of the back hip open, no tight rotation. You can look at it, you can see it right there. And the second fold he had was the two parts of the swing, a hip rotation and an axe snap. And watch how he rolls right into the ball. Uh, that's a huge problem in multiply by two. Watch, he comes ahead and then he rolls right over the top of the ball. Does not get a good clean strike on it. So had a lot of problems with those two early on. And that's a, a daunting thing to come back and fix. Again, here's another swing. Again, you see the same thing. Lack of hip rotation. And leave the roll. The hands come down and they roll right over the top of it. They just aren't going to get a clean strike with that without having a good axe snap. Now you watch uh, Yates, Jeremy Yates here. And watch how he has a great hip rotation. And watch how he has an axe snap. Watch the wrist snap sideways against one another. Watch how they hold. They hold, hold, hold. He doesn't roll over till way afterwards. That's the way you hit a ball square. Like you're hitting an axe into a tree. Rotation, extension of the lead arm. And then snap. Other wrists the other with the top arm extends and then hold that. Try to squelch the rollover as long as you can. And again, we'll watch one more swing here. Again, the same thing, and it's just hugely uh, exaggerated there. Watch the hips again here. Watch this spin the just uh, squish the bug in the back foot. No weight transfer, no hip rotation. Watch the hands dive down and roll over the top. So, pretty daunting task, but uh, you're up for it, and we spent four hours working the first day here of a two day individual lesson in Wisconsin. Watch the eights again. Watch how the rotation of the upper body off the hips, sideways axe snap, and he holds the axe snap, stays on that same plane all the way around. That's why he's a top-level pro player. So we tried to do the torque drill, the, the static hip drill, and the torque drill of the hips. And again, watch the upper body drift ahead. The upper body comes ahead about a foot. Look at the upper body. There's, there's a weight shift drill. So I thought, well, maybe you could throw the frisbee okay and get a little bit more feeling to keep it in place. And look at how your upper body lunges down. Look at the upper body lunges head down because the hips aren't opening all the way and leading the swing. You see the front bent leg. So we try to wind, reach it ahead, and then rotate. And look how the upper body turns the head down. Finally, we made some progress with the bat on the hip drill. We spent two hours working on hip drills. That's a lot better right there. If you didn't worry about the upper body and just glide it head easy, then just turn the hips open. Uh, far, far better and a big, uh, big weight improvement. So watch it one more time here. Good. Now, so we, how do we use all that power? We want to axe snap. Look at the wrist turning over right there. See it? But we give you the axe and the axe, the oval axe handle keeps you from rotating over. You can see there's a little bit of a attempt to try to snap ahead of the drive. Rotation, drive the hands and snap. Better and better. Not perfect, need a little bit harder drive, but I said let's go to the swing simulator do some lead arm drills. And the swing simulator is just beautiful. Look at how that teaches a snap. Again, your front leg is bent, you lunge ahead a little bit, but vastly improved. You're getting weight transfer. One thing too, about, well, let's talk here about look at the, hitting the axe into a, into a bag. Just beautiful. No roll over there. But the, uh, the weight transfer, the weight transfer really helped you on your rotation. So we started to hit off the tee. And the hips looked really good after we spent all that work. But look at the roll over the top here. Look at the hips. They shift back. Weights on the inside of the back foot coming ahead. Rotate. And leave the back foot drag up following the hip rotation. But watch the wrists here. They start to roll right there. Roll, roll, roll over the top. You got to really squelch that roll and get into an X snap. And you were a fireman. You used an X before. So it should be more intuitive than that. But... Uh, again, fast improvement as we went along here. Uh, didn't work off the tee, but once a week. But some really nice swings here. The rotation, keeping the wrist palm down and palm up. That's just a beautiful axe snap. Squats that rollover like like um, Jeremy Yates does. And again, good rotation. Front leg could be tight, straightening out a little bit sooner. But the drift ahead is very much uh, uh, you know t taken back and eliminated down. So here's, a, here's an axe. We use an axe handle on the four tool drill. And look at the axe snap. There's a snap through. No rollover. See? No rollover still. Beautiful. That's what we use. It. The rope's going to teach you fast hands and good body angle. Watch on the rope drill here how you lunge ahead. Watch your head here on the second one. It stays more still, but we miss it. And again, we lunge ahead. I'm wrong on that. You lunge ahead. Here's the third one. There's the head still. 
and we made contact with it, not too bad a swing. Need the rotation lead. Now the heavy jimmer shake really magnifies every error. And watch here on this. Look at the, you roll, you roll, 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 roll. No axe snap. You want to rotate the upper body, drive the lead hand with the stab and extension, and then have the lead hand trigger the snap. Again, there's a rollover. That's why this thing's so good. It magnifies every flaw that you have. Finally, right here, we're getting better. We're squelching the roll until just about the point of impact or slightly afterwards. It's not perfect, but vastly improved. Here's the drill we want to work on. See those hands? That's an X snap. You're axe snapping it sideways. Don't let that wrist roll at all. It's a great drill to do. This works out really, really well. Do that over and over. 250 of those a day. So here's some swings towards the very end of the session one. Yeah, just beautiful. I mean, compared to what we had before, there's rotation, there's body angle. Look at the snap there. You squelch it, you roll over afterwards. That's just a beautiful swing. Could get a little bit tighter hip rotation, but here's your swing before. Here's what it looks like off the tee. Totally different cat. Wind, come ahead, rotate, hips lead, rotation, extension, snap of the lead arm. Awesome. As we start day two, Rick, there's your opening swings at the start. And a great job of loading back, getting the hip rotation, but there's a, you hit still, see you get a pretty good brace leg out front compared to where it was before, but you need to get that brace leg out like Brett and rotate without the head moving, that static hip drill. You got to be able to do that. You can do that static hip drill, the brace leg way out front, and just rotate so you don't come ahead. Watch you, watch you lunge ahead on this. Look at there. That should be a straight line. And uh, we just have to work on fixing that. You'll only get good by drilling. Let your head move ahead. That head shouldn't move once the front foot comes down. you got to get that brace leg down and be able to rotate without your head coming ahead. The X snap is improved. Look at this. Your snap, you hit a lot better today. You went from a 58 average to a 68 average, and you hit balls 50, 60 feet farther than you ever had before. But you're only part way there. Look at the lunge there. Look at you and Yates start out about the same, but look at your brace leg. Watch how you buckle and lunge ahead through it. Look at how his brace leg is back. Look at you have this bend here. It's, it's got to be a brace leg out front. You've got to be able to do that static hip drill. You've got to be able to rotate in place. And that's only going to be done by drilling over and over and over and watching yourself in the mirror. It's not a bad X snap there. The X snap is really what brought you all the success today on the live hitting because you're hitting it square, but you still have a lunge. You still aren't able to rotate tight in place. Again, like Brett, get that brace leg out front, keep your head back, and force yourself just to rotate. Until you can get that, you'll not reach the consistency you want. Uh, we worked some off the tee here before we went outside. Again, this is a nice X snap, but watch your rotation. Your front leg is bent. Your rotation makes it swing down. Usually the rotate, the brace leg should be out there. If the rotation, the rotation was tight and good, then that swing plane would be leveled slightly up. You know, the body angles back. The hand path is always down to the plane of the ball, and then the swing plane uh, or the uh, swing plane will be leveled slightly up. Look at here, you're right back to where you would be before. So we kept working on the X snap. You rolled over that one. Right back to the old swing. And that's why live is always last. You've got to spend hours. Look at there. Good X snap. Back again. you got to spend hours and hours and hours drilling, hitting off the tee. When you get good off the drilling, you can do 9 out of 10 good. And right now you're doing about 7 out of 10. Uh, see, that's not a bad swing. But look at because you didn't rotate, your angle, your swing came down. Your hand pass went down, but your rotation didn't level it off. Again here, not a good rotation, but look at the X snap. If you get the X snap, look at there. That's the ball you hit. That's one of the ones you hit 275 or 85. And even here, you continue to drift ahead on that. you got to be able to keep the brace leg and have that straight line back. So you got to drill, drill, drill. And then when you can hit 9 out of 10 balls off the tee, you're hitting about 6 out of 10 now, great off the tee. Then you're going to start to hit 5 or 6 out of 10 good live. Look at there. You go back to the old swing on a high pitch. Shouldn't have swung in it, but this shows you it's easy to go back to the old swing. I think this is a great drill for you. Look at how your head goes backwards, and you rotate, and you axe snap into it perfect. There you didn't lunge. Your body angle stayed back. Again, this is a... Uh, 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 as good as you got today. Look at the rotation could be a lot better. The front leg's bent, but the X snap is good. And look at how you finish coming back. Great job, and and you just had some really nice live swings. But the drilling is what's going to get it there for you. Don't be frustrated. Keep with it and keep monitoring so you do it correctly. That's the key.
good shot. Nope. Oh, look at that. Holy shit. About 275 feet. I've never in my whole entire life hit a ball 275 feet. Oh, look at that. Woo! That's, that's 285. What? I did the ba-boom. Uh, and it just worked out perfectly. It was a nice hit on the ball, square, and away it went. You simplified your swing by even taking every thought process out of there, just saying, ba, boom, and letting what you drilled start to fill in naturally. Mm -hmm. So when you start drilling, we were focusing on the lead arm, X snap, but probably just go back and say, ba, boom, on everything, and you're going to develop a better feel and a better timing for it. What do you think? I, I think it's 100% what I'm going to try. We keep watching for the episodes. And you can also pick them up on sportstechnique.com under YouTube. Swing Makeover, we're trying to get them updated, all in order with a description, easy way to look for them. Um, summer lessons here in Wisconsin are open for Brett and I. Brett does swing analysis by video exchange. And also uh, in September, we'll open up our six winter camps in Florida, six athlete camps. Uh, there's a waiting list for it, so send me an email. I'll be glad to put you on the list to register. Also on the West Coast, our buddy Steve Inlay, who's been involved in a lot of our swing makeover stuff. He does a teaching at SLIacademy.com. Uh, I want to thank our main partners, D. Marini. A shout-out to the Evil One, Bob Sports. We use the uh, Evil Rockets and the 44-375s. GT.com, we use the GT and the Clicker Stick great parts of our training. If you want to swing simulator, they're at sportstechnique.com. And also Red Athlete is now with Jason Steubing and Dennis Turner uh, doing sublimation dye and they're the DeMarini main licensed uh, maker of their apparel. Do a great job on it and look at their website. This is fabulous. So hope everybody has a great season. Hit subscribe and keep a watch for the great videos we have coming up and hope you have a great start to the season.